upon a time, an illusionist became the greatest magician in the world. For years, he was loved by the public. He could even make children cry with joy. His name was Lele, the green-eyed illusionist. But sadly, one day everything was stolen from him by a fake magician, a, a charlatan. He goes by the name of Dandy Ace. With his mediocre performances and handsome looks, Ace, and I really don't know why, became the most loved of all magicians. Crushed by the unjust reality of his relentless destiny, Lele had no choice but to resort to the infamous Cursed Mirror. You have the power to create a whole new world, but for the price of your soul, the mirror said. I understand. I'm yours. Now, behold the greatest magic trick of all time! And so, out of nowhere, when no one was expecting, Lele imprisoned his longtime arch enemy. In the blink of an eye, Ace was gone, trapped inside the cursed mirror. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Dandy Ace, a game that I actually played a couple months ago or a year ago or something like that. But, uh, quick answer for what this game is. Oh, yeah, narrator volume. Let's crank that up. Uh, so this is Dead Cells crossed with Transistor, but with, like, a really neat spell combination system. I, it's really cool. And I've been patiently waiting for this. You know, I think I actually did play this a year ago. It was, like, last summer, and I thought it was going to come out. And then it just kind of didn't. And I guess, I guess, oh no, that's what it is. They put it on Kickstarter. And then it's, uh, then it went in development for a while. It's been in, like, kind of a open slash closed beta for who knows how long. And I, I've been, like, side-eyeing it, being like, I should play this at some point. So now I guess we get the chance because it's out, uh, I guess tomorrow for those of you watching this stream. And today for those of you watching on YouTube. So, Twitch mode. Twitch mode. Allows streamers and chat to interact via votes during gameplay. Um, I'm gonna leave that for a second. Let's do let's do some regular normal runs before I dive into anything else. Just because I don't want to do Twitch mode when I'm still learning the game properly. Yeah, it might be fun for next time. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. No, I can't do it tomorrow. I'll do it on Saturday. Unfortunately, my big issue is. There's too many games coming out. Can I trust my eyes? Is that the legendary magician, Dandy Ace? Okay. I'm going to alt tab real quick and turn this up. I turned it down thinking it was going to blow out blow out my ears, but I it's not. This game's actually pretty quiet. I'm going to just crank it to max and we'll turn it down inside the game. You seem familiar. Can you tell me where I am? No, no, I am definitely not familiar. I am, I'm 100% certain that we've never met each other before. Okay. I'm afraid the, the other guy, what's his name again? A great magician, yes. Lele, the green-eyed illusionist. I believe he built this ever-changing palace just to defeat you. Lele, huh? Doesn't ring any bells. Think harder. He's pretty famous. How do I leave this place, old timer? I got smiles to collect, magic tricks to perfect. You're either the ace or you're not. The two greatest magicians of all time in a duel. How exciting. You'll have to defeat. Oh, nope. he's waiting for you deep inside the palace. Luckily, when you fell through the cursed mirror, your magical cards came with you. Rule of the Ace number 28, never leave home without your cards. You'll find more cards as you progress through the palace. <laughs> You're lucky to have me as your ally. Yeah, they added voice acting for this. It ain't bad either. All right, so we're just going to grab all three of these. Welcome so I got a dash, palace, I got a fire, and then I've got a flash. Lele, the green-eyed illusionist. We'll watch firsthand as my defenses beat you over and over again. Bring me some popcorn. <laughs> okay, let's do this legit. I might honestly even cut those previous runs out because I did. I got nowhere. Uh, let's see. So we've got 
shoots a comet that explodes in an area. Let's just try a couple of things. Because I think relying... Okay. That doesn't seem terrible. The only immediate problem is the long cooldown. But, yeah, if I'm not trying to fight enemies regularly, if, I, if I'm trying to go for a much slower build, this, this could work. Pra practice runs. Exactly. The only immediate problem is that I do not do a whole lot of damage. There we go. There's a something. It's a cupcake. Dang it. Well, we got Crescendo Fireworks. We did get a cupcake. Yeah, this Heart Nova thing, it works. But I'd rather be able to fire my cards right now. Because it does a decent chunk of damage, but it ain't enough. The other question is, what if I put it here? Oh, that's just Death Charm again. I don't think I need it. Okay. Yeah, one thing I've got to kind of recognize here is that it is actually straight up better on my end for me to kind of dodge through enemies as opposed to around them. Uh, let's see. Cast a... Okay, so that's the stun. Add stun or pray seeker to pink cards. Okay. Adding that here. Most upgrades have an increase... Uh, that increase damage have specific conditions to do so. Oh. Oh, so that gets rid of the charm and just gives me a stun. You know what? I'm fine with that. The UI has a Persona vibe to it. Which honestly shouldn't be terribly surprising. Okay, let's stay away for a hot second. There we go. I gotta use my own dash offensively here. It's actually really good DPS. There we go. Bang. Alright, we're doing we're doing a little better. At least I'm not getting bodied left and right with every attack. I'm still getting bodied a bit. There we go. Uh, let's see, that's worth 200 EXP. Or 200 EXP. 200 HP. Let's leave that for a hot second. Alright, get another sugar dad dandy. I'll just grab it. I probably should just leave it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, so if it's not immediately obvious, you can upgrade cards. Using other cards and spells. Sadly, Charm does not actually charm enemies. It just uh, slows them down for a bit, which is still good. It's just not amazing. Okay. Hit him with a lot of that. Blast him good. I think part of it is I should also just have the full lineup. I've been trying to combo spells too early, and I think I just need more tools in my tool chest, because very few of my spells can actually be spammed directly. Okay, Starburst adds push. Probably add it to that. I don't know if that pushes away from the spell, or we'll figure it out. Whoa, hi. Okay. When it said weak push, I figured that was like a weak push attack. God damn it. I didn't realize that the weak push attack is like hyper aggro. 
Dang it. I tried dashing around it, but that's fine. At oh gosh. Okay, that needs to not be there. Okay, I'm really digging the, the push here. There we go. I'm getting absolutely trapped here, and I do not have the damage to cope. I don't have the damage to cope, but I'm doing all right in the end. Mostly. All right. Blast the heck out of them. And then just kind of keep them away from me. Because they, they cannot deal with uh, the pushback that I'm throwing down here. There we go. And we get shooting stars. Adds empowered magic. Empowered magic upon hitting an enemy. It deals extra damage. This effect has a cooldown. Okay, so that's not amazing. What does shooting stars actually do? Three shooting stars, third explodes. Broken hearts. Bonus damage to charmed enemies. Not the most useful. Let's try this combo and see how it works. So that's a boss. What else we got? This is the shop. You can get shocking arrival. Blinks forward. Toxic spray. Poisonous cloud. Okay. That's really good, actually. Let's swap them, some things around. Okay. This has empowered magic. I'm really hoping empowering the poison works the way I think it does. Now, do we have anything else around here? There's a mirror back at the beginning, but I'm going to assume I can't do anything with that yet. Poison Dash. Might be good. I'm just hoping that I can actually use the Poison Cloud itself. Now, this isn't actually a boss fight yet. I don't think so, anyway. Man, they actually really have updated the Mr. visuals Ace, here. I finally found you. Jolly, jolly. Are you hurt? Mister, the day I get hurt falling through a cursed mirror is the day I won't make our show happen. And that's never, if you didn't catch that. Thanks for always making the show happen, Jolly Jolly. You're very late, Mr. Ace. While you were moseying around, I was getting some field research done. My dear, a magician is never late. Plus, I wasn't taking any longer to get here than what was strictly necessary. To be dazzling and splendid. I know, mister. Perfection. Your powers of observation are immeasurable. No surprise there, right? So listen to me on this. When you defeat enemies, some of them will drop shards from the cursed mirror. These things I've been collecting, they're mirror shards? I should be wearing thicker gloves. When you bring them to me, I can unlock useful items for you. Oh, and by the way, the cards and trinkets you found last time are now gone. Blueprints you found, those you can keep. Bring me shards and blueprints, and I'll help you retrieve your magical cards and trinkets. You got it? Okay, so we can get the tea potion sachet. Sachet? Let's see. There's also gold credit, card recycle, and then we can unlock some new things. But I'm kind of full up. Thank goodness, Mr. Ace. For a moment, I never thought I'd see you again. Have I ever made it to stay Jenny later than right on time, Jenny Jenny? You never disappoint us, Mr. Ace. Did you see that awesome tent my sister made for me? Jolly Jolly really found the time to build you this? I know, right? She's always so resourceful. 
When I was finally done crying, the tent was already up and standing. I'm just glad to see you girls okay in such a weird place. You two are the best assistants a magician could have. Aw, thanks, Mr. Ace. And you're the greatest magician of all time, no matter what the green-eyed evil man said. So, what kind of goodies do you have in that tent? Oh, I can use it to store your trinkets. Talk to me and I'll help you equip the ones you want. Superb. I would like to equip all of them. Ooh, not possible, but you can equip one or two at a time, and sometimes three. That's it? But I have so many trinkets. I'm not sure why, Mr. Ace. Could be the magic that built this place. Could be a simple design choice. I'm not sure. Who knows? <laughs> okay. After 10 seconds without taking damage, the main card deals any more damage. Uh, let's see. Whenever you lose HP, main cards deal mo uh, deals more damage. After killing an enemy, main card deals more damage for 5 seconds. Take less damage from melee attacks. Uh, on a killing blow, uh, remains at 1 HP, gains invulnerability, resets when I kill 100 enemies. Less damage from ranged attacks. After 5 seconds without taking damage, speed increases by 15%. Potions heal... Oh, gains a new T potion per map, but they heal less. Let's do... Let's do the shoes. Okay, palace map. Progression. So unfortunately, because we don't have any of the door keys yet, we're just taking a linear path here. Okay. And this should heal me back up. Okay, okay. this is taking forever. I guess let's just save the crystals that I have. Uh, or let's put them into the gold credit. And then roll from there, and let's talk to this guy. Well done. You've passed the first test. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't get too cocky. Behind me is the banquet hall. And the enemies are much harder. <laughs> or, or so I've heard. It's fine. I'll probably ace it. Get it? Because my name is Ace. A man of multiple talents, I see. Gotta work on your comic timing, though. It's all in the delivery. Oh, I could use some delivery. Where's the food in the banquet hall? Well, there's food, just not for you. The palace minions, they are always hungry. Be careful not to end up the main course. <laughs> okay. There we go. Man, I could use some food. I see. Honestly. I'm not sure how I want to add the poison. I could potentially try and... I don't know. I like the boosted damage, though. I just got to remember to hit and run with it, because it is... Low duration. Okay. Still, it might be better to hook that into my... Let's see. Okay, so that's empowered. This does stun and push. Let's actually do push on this one. Okay, that should work. This way I've got kind of a, a ranged poison hit. And the push should make this a lot easier on me. Okay. Yeah, I like the hitting and running. Unfortunately, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But I think a lot of that just boils down to we need a higher tier basic spell. Not a whole lot of leeway on that one. Okay, it's stack. Holy shit. Loads of poison. There we go. And I'm digging the boost of damage on the arrow. 
Because it's, it's a weapon that's meant to be fired kind of slowly anyway. Now, yeah, the poison stacks too. So even if it does less damage, uh, because it stacks so much, it's not a big deal. Okay, Dazzling Display Tier 3. Increases main card by a bit. That's good. We gotta get recycling, though. Uh, I probably should have gotten that instead of the bonus starting gold, but I don't know. It wasn't braining. Dang it. Hoping I'd just get straight through. Oh, do those have slight homing? It might actually. Nope. Missed that one. There we go. Yeah, I'm making it work. Time warp. Okay. I'll get rid of that. Because I want to go... I want to get the dash warp. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, where am I? Where am I going? Actually, I wanted to be back down here. Hello, foes. Okay, poison the heck out of her. And because now I can warp through enemies as they're attacking, way less immediate risk. There we go. And hopefully this time, ow! Well, I just ate that shit for reasons. Because I can teleport through attacks, I should be able to avoid more hits. I'm taking more. I, I'll make it work. Oh, right. We also have the ability to eat, uh, eat, drink some tea. Oh, it warps around her. Wait, can I just, can I just leave the room that I came in on? I, I guess so? One of my biggest problems with all of this is just a lack of room to maneuver. I guess it's not as big of an issue as I thought it was going to be. This teleport is so good. We got it. We're good. Okay, let's just warp down here. Hello. I am doing well. Thanks for asking. Hi. Okay. Stay away from that. Yeah, now that I now that I know I can just kind of retreat back the way I've ca I came, everything gets so much easier on me. Okay. Avoid that. Poison her. Blast her good. Nope. Didn't blast her quite good enough. Enjoy that poison. We'll just mark you. I have no idea how... Uh, is it four seconds? I think it's supposed to be four seconds. Dandy Ace's Tuxedo Mask Wannabe. Choose my mind. Uh, change my mind. Probably not. Ace drops explosive cards when in contact... When in contact with enemies, they explode. That's kind of great. Let's do Stunning Death Bomb. Because that sounds useful, especially if I'm going to be kiting enemies. Oh, that's... That's what they are. I remember these. Ow. They're the cards that just sit on the ground. Come on. Okay, in retrospect, I think I want to change this. Okay. Go back to this. This does not give me the push.
never mind. That's not very good. Okay. There. Now we've got empowered ground traps. That should do the trick. The only issue is the empowered arrows. Wow, that's effective. Okay. Yeah, in retrospect, let's, uh... I'm just gonna get rid of the arrows. It was nice for damage, especially with some other things. Uh... Like, the empowered ar arrows were nice and strong, but... Empowered super ground traps? Way, way better. Because I honestly use them about the same amount. They've got about the same cooldown. Lady, I don't know what your plan is. Enjoy them traps. And they're gone. Oh, well, it's okay. They enjoyed them for however long that they could. Now I just gotta find some, like, a better attack spell and I'll be, I will be dandy. Ah, oh, I hurt. Bubble trouble. Shooting stars. That's a combo. Third one explodes. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see how that works. Because the main problem is my, my starting spell does not do a whole lot of damage. It's less poison, bigger AoE, but the poison damage is higher. So it's probably worth it. Oh, and it looks like I can bank them, too. Especially with that stun. There we go. Okay, five of a kind, tier three. Alternatively, we put it there. This also empowers the magic. I don't know. I'll leave it there for the time being. Let's see, do we got anything else? Can I go anywhere else? No. These levels are so small. Oh, might as well drink some tea and then continue on. I still like the, uh, my card spread better, especially if it's higher tier. Guess so many cards recycle would be useful. Yeah, we're going to start investing in that hard. Can we go home now? There we go. Uh, let's max that out and let's keep putting points into recycle. Because it seems like recycle is just going to be the way to go. Do you need me, mister? probably do discharge shoes. I don't think we have any other fun trinkets to begin with. Welcome to the Dopra New Museum. Much more than an art gallery, here you'll find very famous paintings. I love famous stuff. Which paintings can I see there? Oh, I didn't expect you to be a man of culture as well. There is the remarkable Las Conejas. A true work of art. You'll also see the critically acclaimed creation of magic in all its splendor. Huh, weird. They almost sound like other famous paintings I know. You don't know these? Too bad. In this section of the palace, those who are not art connoisseurs tend to find themselves in grave danger. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Shadow Sovereign, for the 29 month resub. Hey, Wander, how we doing today? Today, I was feeling weird. Now I'm feeling better. Still feeling kind of weird, but it's just is the way it is. And also, thank you, Allison, for the what is that? 11 month resub. Thank you. Okay, ow, that didn't work. Okay, let's just avoid. 
Remember that I've got my stun. I've got a couple of things that I can work with. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Keep avoiding. Keep spreading that beautiful poison. Damn it. Yeah, I like the trap card. I think I'm going to move away from it if I can get another spell. It's got a very long charge up. Oh, but it does so much damage, though. Uh, let's see. I know this game. Is this the full release? I want to say it's early access. Not a full release, but I could be very wrong. I... It's... It's one of those that I actually don't know. Uh, the only reason why I know, or why I'm playing this is, I know it's coming out tomorrow, but uh, I've had access to this game for like a year now. And luckily for me, I've just been able to keep my copy, so I didn't have to bother with any of the PR emails that they're sending me. Unfortunately, that means I haven't been bothering with any of the PR emails that they've been sending along. Uh, which means I know next to nothing. Oh, that's a bad place to be. We... Ha! Ah, and we get some healing items. So I don't have to drink my tea. Good stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna spread that out. But yeah, I, I think it's I think it's the full release. I hope it is. It certainly feels like it. So if it's not, I guess I've just been bamboozled. Those axolotls are spooky. I can dodge through their I can dodge through their attack a little bit. Which actually works out. It's just they're spooky when they're paired with anybody else. Because I have to care a little bit more about what they're up to. Alright, and let's go this direction. I convinced that axolotl to kill itself. Hooray! Come for me. I left you such delicious trap cards. All right, what do you got for me? We got Titan Punch. Attacks with giant punches. Second punch stuns enemies. Third punch also stuns and does more damage. That sounds fun. Hopefully this boosts, boosts the stun some more, because it feels like this is the kind of thing that I can go bananas with. It... Certainly, it's strong. Ow. It's certainly very strong. Like if I if I want to fist anything to death. Oh, shoot! Hey, we get the red key or the diamond key. Okay. Avoid that for a second. So the fist does a ton of damage. Like, a ton of damage. There we go. Thank you, Cupcakes. Uh, let's see. Better dash? Better dash. Unfortunately, it changes nothing, but I'll be fine with it. That hurt. 
But now we have access to new areas. So I will take it. Let's warp back a little bit. Now those, those Reapers are spooky. Void. Leave some cards for them. Punch the shit out of them. Dazzling display four. Unfortunately, it doesn't change anything, but I might as well have it. Okay, we haven't been down this direction yet either. Ow? What? Oh. Avoid for a second. Just drop some sweet cards on their faces. It really does seem like hit and run is the kind of way to go for a lot of these things. If I can increase the attack speed on that, that would probably help a lot. Oh well. Oh. Damn it. Okay, avoid. It still seems like just throwing cards. Might still be my better option here. I think part of it is there's no hit feedback on my enemies. So when I hit them, they don't care. And that becomes a bit of an issue with the fist. That if the fist had, because it's supposed to have a stun and it does, but it's not a very strong stun. Oh, and that just gives it seeker, which is useless. The vulnerability for a couple of seconds, that might be okay. We'll see how this goes. I'm probably still going to die. But yeah, I, I like the idea of punching things. But I don't think it's actually going to work for me. Adds a bubble cluster. Well, here, let's switch these two around. Charge enemies. I don't know. I might try and fire the uh, the bubble. Oh, that UI. I could use not having to see that. Okay, is it just you? No. Leave him with some tricks and traps and... There we go. I'm learning. It just takes a bit. There we go. I was really expecting the bubble cluster to be a little bit more exciting than it is. But it's kind of not. But I do appreciate proceeding... Whoop. Didn't realize there were two of them. Enjoy that. Maybe. 
I don't know. I might want to move away from the empowered mines. They're not helping the way I want them to. But I don't have anything better right now. I was really hoping the original poison cloud would be something that would just hang in the air that I could lure enemies through. But it's not that. Dashes forward, creating an explosion. Adds hex, which is great. Titan punch or patch and comet again. Now let's grab shocking arrival. Affected enemies take damage while moving. That could be interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. I'm going to try hexing them with a bubble. Yeah. It looks like hex does not stack. Yeah. So putting hex... Putting Hex on the bubble was the way to go. Never recycling. I, You know, I totally forgot about recycling as a mechanic. I forgot that I even have it un unlocked right now. I guess Hex does not really help or hurt there. All right, let's warp back. Let's start recycling. Okay, so honestly, in retrospect, Sugar Daddy might have been the the better option instead of the bubble. Can I, just, I can just warp to cards that are on the ground. Now that's that's actually really convenient. Not that many of these are worth anything. There we go. Should probably also keep an eye out for uh, keys. This reminds me of Wizard of Legend. It's Wizard of Legend, Dead Cells, and Transistor combined into one actually pretty good game. Avoid that for a second. Stay the heck away from those. There we go. Yeah, I just have to hit and run anything that is outside of my general range. Okay, stay away from that. Mess him up. Yeah, now we're doing a lot of damage. We got a lot of charge moves here, which I'm not exactly the keenest on. I would like more cards that I can just spit fire while I run. Okay, so what else do we have? That's a heart store. Is this? No, this is a spades. So at this point, we've got the diamond key. At the very least. Hey, I made it. I didn't die. Why have I never heard of this game before? That sounds gloriously fun. I, I played it a little bit. Uh, who's crying? Um, can we get on with our lives yet? I honestly have no idea. Free reshuffle. There is also the fireworks. Let's unlock the fireworks real quick, because that's got burn effects. Which seems like it would be amazing. Instead of bubble trouble. Oh, he's laughing. You've made it to his atelier. How exciting. I've made it to whose atelier? Beyond this gate lies the atelier of the master of arts himself, the famous Axolangelo. Sounds important. Is he a famous painter around these parts? The greatest. Have you ran into the deadly art apprentices yet? Let's just say he taught them everything they know. Oh, I'd love to get an autograph. For your own sake, let's hope you catch him in a good mood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, gotta go to Trinket. I oh, forgot. And a good day to you. <laughs> okay, let's take less damage from melee attacks. I don't get hit by ranged as much anymore. But I definitely get hit by melee. There he is. Finally! Bring me the paint tubes I ordered. Sap green and yellow ochre. I think you're mistaken, Mr. Painter. Don't tell me you've mixed up my order again. Did you learn nothing in artist assistant school? I'm not an assistant. I'm a fellow artist. You've probably heard of me. I'm the one and only. An artist? You don't look like one. Where is your brush? Your sad face. Your dirty apron. I'm a magician of the magic arts, you see. Would you like a little demonstration? If you don't have my order, you have no reason to be here. I'll kick you out of myself. Well. Ow. At least I know where he's going to land. Oh! Don't stand on that, apparently. Rude. Double rude. I'm dead. Damn. Okay, I needed some more speed on that one. Oh, well. That boss is no joke. We got some upgrades at the very least. But yeah, huge AoE attacks. What I needed was a uh, the dash with speed, probably. Okay, well, with this, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. I mean, we just finished a run, and we're about to dive into another one. And they kind of run a little long if I actually do well on them. Uh, it's not the shortest roguelike ever. Honestly, length reminds me of Hades. A lot reminds me of Hades. It doesn't quite have that, that tightness of gameplay that Supergiant has managed to perfect over the years. It honestly uh, plays kind of like Transistor more so than Hades, but with the same level of like requirement of movement and speed and whatnot of Hades, uh, which ends up being a little incongruous, uh, at least as far as I'm concerned. And it's one of those where it's actually putting me in this kind of weird position where it's just kind of like, I, you can't really do the action combat thing as much as I would have liked. But, oh well, is what it is. Mainly, the draw for this game will be the spells and how you combo them together and the various ways that you can abuse them to win. And I'm really looking forward to unlocking more. I've only got the basics unlocked so far, and I've tried a lot of different things, and they're fun. I wish there were more, like, spell fusions as opposed to just an additive, additive effect. So, like, the card plus the trap, if it misses, it leaves the card on the ground and turns into a, a trap for an enemy to hit. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways that could be done. And I think it would have been slightly more interesting than this, but I realized that would take taken an insane amount of work, so I understand why they didn't. Uh, but either way, it's a charming little roguelike. It's got a lot of visual polish, and the the combination of the multiple different games, you know, Hades, Transistor, and Wizard of Legend, and like a couple others, it feels good, and I want to see more from that. Uh, so, I guess with that said, uh, Dandy Ace is out now on Steam. It's 20 bucks normally, and down to 18 uh, for launch week. It'll be off on April 1st. Ha! Huh. And, uh, yeah. I don't think it's early access either. At least, I was looking around and I couldn't see anything about it being early access. I hope they do a couple of updates, just smooth things out a little bit, add a little bit more content, respond to player feedback, so on and so forth, but I'm not holding my breath for it. So, uh, I guess with that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'm talking too fast, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna play at least a number more runs. I'd like to beat this if possible And then we'll probably just throw it onto the roguelike roulette whenever I get the chance to go back to that uh, So all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time